Hi there, Virgo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. I'm going to be doing your tarot forecast from the 17th of September through to the 23rd. I went ahead and shuffled the cards and laid them all out for you. I would like to say thank you to all of you who have liked, shared, and subscribed to my videos. And um, if this reading does resonate for you, you can uh, definitely feel free to do the same. Um, if you have any uh, questions um, or would like to make a comment, leave it in the comment section below. Um, I am doing personal readings. If you would like to book a reading with me, uh, just shoot me an email and we'll take it from there, okay? So, happy birthday to any of you having a birthday this week. <laughs> Let's carry on. We have uh, the Queen of Pentacles in the upright position, followed then by the Five of Swords in the upright position. Next, we have the Five of Pentacles in the upper, or the reverse position. And next, we have Major Arcana, the Sun, in the upright position. And lastly, we have the Two of Wands in the upright position. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First off, we have the Queen of Pentacles as your overall energy for the week, Virgo. Now, this is a court card, so it could be representing a person of the uh, fire sign, uh, I'm sorry, um, earth signs like yourself, Virgo, or a Taurus or a Capricorn. So, and it could be male or female, sun, moon, or rising. Now, um, the Queen of Pentacles in the upright position, this is, um, this is a no-nonsense person. This could just be your own energy because it is earth energy. So this could be uh, you being standing in your own power this uh, week, Virgo, standing strong. The Queen of Pentacles in the upright position. This is a woman who is extremely practical, uh, down-to-earth, uh, business-minded. Um, she deals with whatever she has to deal with on a practical level and if this is you guys if this is your energy this is terrific because I always like to see um, when when the uh, court cards come up and they represent the sign uh, for me that's in the upright position this is when somebody is standing in their power and they're really powerful and they are in, you know sort of coming into their own kind of thing really good energy and even if you are dealing with someone like this say you are um, uh, this is your boss or this is your parent or your um, significant other you're dealing with somebody in in full strength if this is a boss could even represent for some of you a bank manager or someone in a position of authority uh, over finances so when you are if you are dealing with this person in that capacity they will most likely be fair to you if you need say to talk to them about a raise or if you want to talk to a bank manager about uh, a loan or a mortgage or something like that chances are they'll be uh, pretty fair with you but overall it's probably just your own energy virgo and i like to see this for you guys you're standing in your own power this is really nice. Now, coming into the week of the 17th, you have the Five of Swords in the upright position. Um, this is a little bit of aggressive energy. It's swords, so it does represent our thoughts and uh, communication. So uh, the Five of Swords, this is generally dealing with other people. So it could be that um, for some of you, maybe a battle had just, you know, broke out or just has taken place and um, someone has to be the victor in the in this uh, particular scenario and it looks like you're the one because it's in the upright position so you're probably the one who has uh, you know won this battle and um, sometimes it can be a bit of an empty victory though um, when we uh, are challenged or challenge other people and uh, they come at us and sometimes this this challenge can uh, turn out to be quite brutal and sometimes we can say things because of the swords representing our communication our words we can say things that can really hurt other people so perhaps other people were attacking you on a verbal level and you stood your ground and because you are in your own power like severely so maybe you just sort of um, you know 
slapped him back into reality in a sense. So uh, you do end up the victor in that situation. And what the fallout is, well, it's going to be different for all of you. It's just a general read. So I'm not really sure what, what the fallout, only you guys would know what that was about. Because this is the energy you come into the week with. So this is something that could have happened last week or uh, just transpired over the weekend. And then you move on from that to the energies of the Five of Pentacles in the reverse position. This is sort of coming out of feeling left out in the cold for some of you where it was... Um, there was a, a verbal battle with people. Maybe it's it's uh, calmed down or it's about to calm down during the week. And... Um, you know, you'll sort of make up with these people. And for others of you, it could be playing out um, in a, another scenario because pentacles, so it could be representing um, uh, finances. Um, the five of pentacles in the upright position is feeling lack on the financial level or security level. When it's in reverse, it's, it's all, I always prefer to see this card in the reverse because this is coming out of uh, feeling financially strapped or, um, or even for some of you, maybe your security was somewhat threatened and now it's it's sort of back on track again. So it's really good to see that, uh, that card reversed for you guys. Now moving on towards the weekend, you have the only major arcana in the read, but it's a really good one. Uh, this is moving towards the weekend of the 22nd, 23rd. You have the sun in the upright position. The sun is a beautiful card that speaks of uh, success and attainment and confidence. Like you're moving forward with uh, with full confidence, and you're you you know what your goal is, and you're headed towards it. Chances are you will uh, obtain it because this is. Um, this is a card of uh, attainment <laughs> of our goals. It's a beautiful card overall. It's um, it's uh, it can be representing a card of victory as well for sure. You've got two cards of victory here, so it could be that's why your overall energy is so strong because maybe you are victorious. It seems like maybe some of you have put your foot down in a certain situ situation and uh, have come out uh, the victor in the situation. Now it looks like towards the weekend, you're moving into the energies of the two of wands. Well, this is um, paired with the sun, so it's kind of like that whole weekend of the 22nd, 23rd. Um, you have the two of wands in the upright position. Now, this is nice energy. This is the energy of making a plan and moving forward with it. For some of you, perhaps the victory that you had closed out an old situation and now you're starting fresh. You have uh, fresh new ideas and fresh new thoughts about something brand new. And for others of you, maybe there was just a certain level that you have passed and now that you've got that out of the way, so to speak, you're moving on to uh, stage two, the next phase of whatever it is that you were after. You've attained a, par a portion of the goal and you're moving on to, you know, stage two to, you know, carry on with whatever plan it is you have, plan of action that you have going on. But the Two of Wands energy is definitely uh, good energy. It's a little bit of passive energy because it's a matter of having to wait. We're just in the planning stages of uh, getting something rolling that we're trying to complete. But it's definitely a good start. <laughs> and it's really nice to see this energy for you guys on the weekend. Like that's a nice way to end the read and uh, to move into the weekend with the energies of the sun. and. Um, and the two of wands so whatever you've been through in the, the past the battles and so forth and even for some of you maybe financial crunch and uh, security crunch it doesn't matter because the Sun will come out tomorrow literally in this reading the Sun comes out tomorrow <laughs> right past all of this right towards the weekend the Sun comes out for you guys lovely read I hope this helped you Virgo and until next time take good care bye for now <laughs>